This building was made by many, many hands, all who volunteered their labor for days and days on end. We're often working here till midnight because they wanted to see a retreat place happen set in a beautiful little forest of native trees. They wanted to see the true face of Ireland, the ancient face of Ireland, its natural face. Given some honor, given some space, we built this with such enthusiasm. The building just went up. And now we're told it has to come down. I have spent 22,000 euros on appeal, applications for retention, on another application for retention. All have been refused with a standard that are with their very loose use of the words sustainable development. This building is made out of solid timber, fall into the ground and return to compost at any time, hopefully without the help of Galway County Council. I've been sitting here these last few days fasting. I've had nothing but one cup of hot water per day. It's rained on me, it's snowed on me. I've had a little bit of a rough ride on Saturday. So many people have come here and shook my hand and said, it's high time for this. It's time someone said something. So I'm saying it. I thought I'd give the planners one last chance. So here's my parting letter. I've asked for a meeting many, many times, phoning and email and through my agent and architect. Not a chance, not a word. So here we are. Dear planners, I, Shivam, have fasted on your doorstep for three days and three nights. We need the old stories, we need the old landscape, we need the roots of our culture, we need to return to the earth, we need to know what the soul of Ireland really wants. Things done by people, for people, putting their shoulders together, working freely and happily with the enthusiasm of their hearts and hands, people with real lives, with real needs. May it just stand in memory of an attempt to make something beautiful that me and my four children can sit and play in here. So I'm told there's a housing crisis and yet here we are with a beautiful, low-impact building. So why are we demolishing buildings? So the first hearing has taken place, and the judge very quickly decided that this needed a special hearing, which has now been scheduled for January the 15th. What was amazing in court during the brief time that we crossed swords with the Galway prosecution was how they bragged that a high court decision had recently been made where a family home was demolished in Dublin. That was his first point to reassure the judge that it would be fine to demolish a building. This is before any discussion of the sustainability of the building or its design or its appropriateness or anything else had been discussed. There you go. So it's fine to demolish people's homes, but that's what we're against. Thank you all for your good support. Thank you for sharing, joining the petition. It's important that people in authority, people who wield power over how we live, what we build, what we live inside, what the built environment looks like, what the natural environment looks like, know what people truly want. I hope the judge at Tune County Court will somehow agree to turn over decisions that destroy people's lives. Dash our hopes against rocks that there might be a truly green and sustainable future in Ireland. Do you think it should be bulldozed? Mm -hmm.